If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, but let's get right to it. So I have been working 80 hours a week on a Lifetime movie, so I have been very busy. But all week long, pictures are dropping all across the internet, behind the scenes from Indiana Jones 5, speculation on title, James Mangold having a Twitter fight with somebody, <laughs> another YouTube channel. Look, the bottom line is this. There's a lot going on. I'm excited. I can't wait. When the first pictures dropped uh, of Harrison Ford um, in his costume, there was a lot of speculation about you know the costume, who's doing the designs, uh, who's creating the hat. Um, I have my suspicion that it's uh, John Penman from Penman Hats who did this hat. Um, Steve Delk, uh, who is his uh, mentor, partner, if you will, uh, passed the torch. He did the, all the hats for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, I think they did like 35 or 40 hats. And I have a feeling uh, uh, John Penman has been MIA and won't return phone calls, messages, or anything for months. Uh, and I have a funny feeling he was busy making hats uh, earlier in the year, January, February, March. Um, but anyway, I digress. So all these really cool photos have been popping up, speculation about what the story is. There was even some art department work that leaked, um, a synopsis. Uh, I Look, I believe what we've been seeing so far is the opening sequence of the film, just like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the opening sequence was young River Phoenix on an adventure with the Cross of Coronado. I believe that, you know, it was hinted in Crystal Skull that, uh, you know, Indiana Jones had had this war record uh, and he was decorated with medals for doing all this spy stuff uh, with Ray Winstone's character. You know, remember Berlin? You know, you're a double double agent triple agent. Anyway, uh, I think that this story, because we're back with the Nazis again, is going to revolve around something that went down previously, and then it picks back up in the 60s. So my speculation is what we're seeing when they had a young Indiana Jones mask on a stunt guy on a motorcycle, and he was wearing the, the Nazi uh, outfit reminded me of Force 10 from Navarone, one of uh, Harrison Ford's earlier films um, that he did not too long after Star Wars. Started, uh, Carl Weathers was in that with uh, Robert Shaw and a couple of others. It was a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen Force 10 from Navarone, you should check it out. And uh, so he looked very much like that. And then the mask that's on the stunt guy, you know, this is something I've seen. You know, they did a really good job, although I wasn't crazy about um, Terminator Dark Fate. There's a great behind-the-scenes photo of Arnold Schwarzenegger with a mask uh, that a stunt double was wearing, and he's holding it in his hand. i got to see if I can find it and put it in this video. And they're really getting amazingly detailed with these masks that these stunt guys can wear, which helps the CGI department. So I think what we're going to get is a small adventure, a spy adventure. Uh, remember, the 60s... If you look at all the movies, they're all based on serials, based on their time frames. The 60s were big spy movies. James Bond, The Spy Who Loved Me, you know, uh, the Cold War stuff. And I feel like what they're doing is they're giving us a little bit of that. Um, the opening sequence will set the stage for the Cross of Coronado for this particular uh, movie. Uh, which I believe in some of the artwork that leaked, there's this bell that the Nazis created. You know, remember, uh, in Raiders of the Lost Ark, they spoke that, you know, Hitler was crazy for the occult and wanted to get everything he could to get power, whether it was the Ark that could defeat armies or whatever, the life of, you know, the, the cup of Christ, you know, that gives everlasting life. So they were trying to do things to ensure their... I would like their power. If they lost the war, how do they ensure that they can win again later? Maybe reamass their army. Uh, and I think this will have to do with portholes and not necessarily time travel, but we'll see. You know, kind of like the Manhattan Project, where they were cloaking ships by bending light and 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 doing gravitational stuff out in the ocean. Um, I think it's going to play a little bit into that, but we'll see. 
But uh, some of the pictures had Harrison Ford with dots on his face. And uh, look, based on what they've done for the Marvel films, whether it be Kurt Russell or how they did young Robert Downey Jr. Or, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they did, you know, Samuel L. Samuel L. Jackson, you know, for, um, um, you know, the Brie Larson film where he, they de-aged him and he looked fantastic throughout that entire film. And one of the things they did was they did a lot of de-aging throughout the film. It wasn't like, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, they did a flashback. I mean, he was young throughout the entire movie. So it's not that they can't do it. Harrison Ford, you know, looks a little leathery these days. You know, he's got a lot of hanging skin and everything. So they're going to have to do some CGI work on him. Uh, but I think at this point, you know, since Rogue One came out so many years ago and they've been making all these advancements and even deep fakes look better than sometimes the stuff that Lucasfilm is doing. Um, I have confidence that they're going to make the opening sequence of him being young that sets the stage for the rest of the film. The MacGuffin will be right there in the beginning. You'll find out all about it. And then it'll flash forward to the 1960s with which just like James Mangold, um, uh, you know, he's he's got the pulse on the 1960s based on, you know, Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, you know, he really knows how to do period piece films. And, you know, the same writing team that did Logan is doing this film. And so I loved Logan. I thought it was the best Wolverine film that they've made. I have faith that they're knocking this one out of the park. And although James Mangold has taken over the duties of directing for the film, Steven Spielberg is, according to James Mangold on his Twitter, talks to him every day because he's executive producing. Some of the photos that leaked out had Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall standing right next to Harrison Ford. They were wearing masks. And uh, so the whole party is back together again. And uh, I think this is great. I'm excited. Uh, um, I do think, uh, you know, they had a leaked photo of, um, Mads Mikkelsen as this German Nazi. And I think we'll see him young in the beginning of the film with this mini adventure. And then we'll see him older, still trying to, uh, get this gravitational bell, uh, that might be hidden in a mountain. You know, this could tie into the old story of the, the, the Nazi train that uh, that left Poland, I believe it was, that had all the gold and stuff on it that went into a uh, basically into a mountain and they blew the the side. So it vanished into thin air. I think they'll tie some of that into this. I mean, this is all speculation, um, but um, I, I can't wait. The more that comes out, the more I get excited. I'm not worried at all. I believe this film is in great hands. Uh, and I can't wait to see more leaked stuff. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited? Do you think they're going to de-age Harrison Ford through the whole film? I don't. I think it's just the opening sequence. And uh, uh, are you excited about this? Because I'm excited about this. And I think Harrison Ford, although he loved doing Crystal Skull, I feel he might have felt it was a misfire and needed to do one more to make things right. And if we bookend this movie, Indy 5, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and everything in between, we might get an epic ending to Indiana Jones. I would also like to see him get the eye patch and have it tie into the young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Although he may not want to lose his eye in the film or get a bloody eye by the end of the movie. Um, you know, and one thing, you know, in all the behind the scenes, Spielberg's always said Harrison Ford hates to be wet. So when it was Last Crusade, getting into the tunnels uh, in Italy, in Venice, Italy, getting wet in the boats, uh, getting wet with the cross of Coronado uh, and having to jump into a pool, you know, a, a wave tank. And then, you know, the Nazi stuff in Raiders of the Lost Ark being tied to the submarine, wet, wet, wet. He hates being wet. But Harrison Ford, Spielberg loves to get him wet in every movie. Crystal Skull, the whole thing with the end, uh, with the water. Um, and this one, once again, uh, Harrison Ford looks really wet in the behind the scenes photo, which is why his hat looks tattered and almost like Freddy Krueger. Um, uh, his hat is really in rough shape. But I think, again, you know, he's soaking wet. Uh, and they'll probably have CGI rain or whatever coming down if that's the case. But he definitely looks disheveled. And uh, But the hat, I think, will take its shape later on in the film 
and uh, look better after the opening adventure sequence. So Nazis are back. A porthole type bell that might uh, uh, warp time. Uh, what looked like flying saucers of the 1950s or really Nazi spacecraft. You know, they were really close to building a jet engine uh, that could have changed the war back in World War II, but they couldn't get it off the ground. Could it be those things that we've been seeing all these years back in the 1950s, uh, 40s and 50s, was uh, these Nazi spaceships that they were trying to build? Not necessarily spaceships, but things that made you think they were from space. Again, propaganda, propaganda. I'm excited. So much is spilling out, and it's okay. I'm fine with that. At least I know what I'm getting into this time, and it's not space aliens or interdimensional beings. I'm excited. I can't wait for this film. Uh, I don't believe James Mangold is going to let anyone down and his writers. What do you think? Let's talk about it in the comments section, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.